Hello, honey pie. Come over in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Zane and we've got Adil. But don't just sit there, angels. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Now, let's put these teddies to bed. Put out a wee cover. Oh, and a wee pillow there. That's it. And we'll tuck them in nice and tight. What noises do people make when they're sleeping? <laughs> Does she go, That's funny, isn't it? But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, yes, it's Bobby <laughs> with Kai. Bobby. Hi, Oh, hi, everyone. Wow, what's going on here? Well, we're having a bit of a quiet time. Oh, sorry. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Now, Kai's here will do something new. Why don't you dress Claude up like he's ready for bed? And I think I'll just tiptoe over there. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> so, what have you been doing today, lovey? Oh, well, I took Kai to the park and I tried to teach him how to do somersaults. Oh, that sounds like fun. Well, to tell you the truth, I was just trying to tire him out so that he'd be sleepy and he'd want to go to bed early. He's been a bit funny today. Oh, why? Well, he says he doesn't want me to be away from him tonight. And he isn't tired at all. <gasps> but I am. Oh, dear. So he doesn't want you to go to work? No. He just keeps asking me why. Why do you have to work, Mummy? Why can't you be with me tonight? Oh, I feel really bad about leaving him to go to work. Oh, don't worry, Bobby. He'll be fine. There are some things you just have to do. Oh, will you look at Claude? Oh, oh wow! Wow, Claude, you look all ready for bed. <laughs> oh, I wish I was going off to bed soon. Oh, don't look so sad, Kai. I've got to go to work. No, Mummy, stay here. Oh, Mummy's got to go to work, my darling, to earn money to buy things, eh? But why don't you phone Mummy on her mobile phone when it's bedtime? Oh, that's a great idea. OK, so I'll speak to you on the phone about nine o'clock, OK? Yeah. Oh, come in, give us a kiss. Mm -hmm. Have a great time and I'll see you in the morning, OK? Come on. <laughs> there are some things you just have to do. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm running really late today. What's the quickest way for me to get to work? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a bus. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the bus lanes. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Speed up! Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down! Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets, now squeaking, squeaking to our stop! I'm in, 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 in a hurry! Hurry, hurry, hurry! But before I do anything, I need to change into my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go! No, this bus is filthy. God, and I'm so tired tonight. Seven o'clock. Hmm. I think I need a good strong cup of tea to get me going. Yes, that is exactly what I need. A nice cup of tea. Oh no. It's Kai's Teddy, Mr. Begby. Oh no, I must have forgotten to leave him at Granny Murray's. Kai's going to be so upset when he finds out, isn't he, Mr Begby? I'd love to skip in Riversy Bingle, Riversy Bingle, by the sea. I'd love to skip in Riversy Bingle, Riversy Bingle, by the sea. Riversy Bingle, Riversy Bingle, Riversy Bingle, that's for me. Ooh. Well, we're all 
we're ready to start our teddy bear's tea party. But we can't start without Mr Begbie, can we? Oh dear. Boys, can you go and have a wee look behind Granny Murray's cushions and see if he's there? All right, darling. Is he there? No. Come on then. Oh, Kai, do you need a wee cuddle? My angel. What has Mum done with Mr Begbie? Don't know. You, Mommy. Oh, poor Kai. It's all my fault I forgot to leave him with Teddy. I'm just too tired to think straight. Evening, Bobby. Oh. Hello, Tina. What are you doing here? Well, I've come to ask you a favour. You see, Raymond and I are putting on this fantastic new show at the theatre. It's called The Tales of Timmy Duck. Oh. <laughs> so, we were hoping that you could show us some gymnastic tricks we could use in the show. I see. OK, no problem. We'll need my mat. Oh. I have just thought of a brilliant way to sort out Guy's daddy problem. One good turn deserves another. Right, OK, Tina. Oh, ready and waiting. OK. <laughs> what shall I try first? I think we should start off with a cartwheel. Oh, lovely. OK, ready, <laughs> Easy, eh? Right, now then, I need to ask you... Yes, a Bobby, huge... you see, that was a wee bit tricky. Um, could you show me something a bit easier? How about hopping around a chair? Now you're talking. I could manage that, I think. All right, let's give it a go. Oh. One chair. Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ready? Your turn. <laughs> Perfect. That'll be in the show. <laughs> cool. OK, now I need to ask you a massive favour. Uh -huh. Please could you take Kai's teddy round to Granny Murray's for me? Of course. Why didn't you ask me before? Right, here he is. Mr Begbie. Oh. Kai can't sleep without him. Oh, I'll take him straight away. Come on, Mr Begbie. Bye, Bobby. <laughs> Bye, Tina. Thanks. You're a star. Bye. Phew. Thank goodness that's sorted out. Now I can get on with some good, hard work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Dazzle the day away Swinging to the city looking pretty and radiant The hot caps gleam, the paintwork shines A river sea double decker looks so fine The driver she drives, collecting the fares Leaving then arriving she will get you there This boss is stopping from picking up and putting down This boss is shining, it's the talk of the town Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight at its sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead Well, that's made a good start Time for a tea break, I think. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I must remember that Kai's going to be calling me on my mobile at nine o'clock bedtime. Better make sure it's all charged up. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <sighs> oh, I wonder if Tina has arrived with Mr Begby yet. Kai is going to be so chuffed. <laughs> Hi, Tina's popped in and she's got a surprise for you. Your mum asked me to bring you something she thought you'd be wanting at bedtime. <sighs> wow! <Yeah. laughs> Happy now, my angel. Thanks for doing that, Tina. Glad to help. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> 
Come on, my darling boy. Oh, great boy, aren't you? Didn't I tell you Mum would sort everything out for you? Hmm? <gasps> oh, if you're as tired as me, Kai, you're going to sleep well tonight. Right. Nearly nine o'clock. Kai's going to be doing his goodnight phone call soon. Which means I've just got time to put my feet up for five minutes. <gasps> and now I'm driving around the city. Oh, I should be back at the depot doing my work. And worse than that, I've missed Kai's goodnight phone call. Oh, how have I managed to make such a mess of things? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's and he helped dress up Claude ready for bed. Kai didn't want to be away from me tonight, but I had to go to work. So Granny Murray had an idea. Kai would call me on my mobile when it was his bedtime. At seven o'clock, I started cleaning the buses, but I was tired and decided to have a cup of tea to wake me up. But when I opened my bag, I found Mr Begby, Kai's special teddy that he loves to cuddle at bedtime. I knew that Kai would be really upset. At eight o'clock, Tina popped in and I showed her some gymnastics to do in her new show. As a thank you, she promised to take Kai's teddy round to Granny Murray's. That meant I could get on with my work. But I was so tired. At nine o'clock, I was fast asleep on the back of a bus. At ten o'clock, I woke up and realised that I'd missed Kai's goodnight phone call and I was still on the back of the bus. Now remember, there are some things you just have to do. Yeah, there are some things that you just have to do. And right now, I've got to finish off my work, but I've got to say goodnight to Kai too. So that's it. I'll pop into Granny Murray's on my way back to the depot and I'll kiss Kai goodnight. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, I'm really sorry that I missed Kai's phone call, Granny Murray. Oh, don't worry, Dumpling. You popping in more than makes up for it. Oh, well, as you said, there are some things that you just have to do. Mm-hmm. Like get back to work. Oh, yes. I suppose I'd better get off and get a cab. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Kai. <laughs> Ooh. One missed call. Oh, that was Kai. Well... I might have missed his call, but I am so chuffed that I managed to kiss him goodnight instead. Oh, I wonder if he's all tucked up and fast asleep in his bed by now. Night, night, Mr. Pigby. I'm thinking of you, Mummy. Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Hello, Oh, <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we should have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thanks. 
clever boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. There are some things you just have to do. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, you'd better be off. Come on, you. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, the children dressed up Claude so that he was all ready for bed. Kai was sad that his mum had to go to work. He didn't want to be away from her. So we had a good idea and decided that Kai should call Bobby on her mobile phone when it was his bedtime. Later, we were about to have a tea party, but we couldn't because Kai couldn't find his special teddy called Mr Begby. We tried looking everywhere, but Kai's teddy was nowhere to be seen. He wanted his mum and was really upset, but not for long. Tina arrived in her taxi and she brought along Mr Begby. Kai was much happier. At bedtime, Kai tried phoning Bobby on her mobile, but there was no answer. So Kai went to bed and cuddled his teddy instead. And then we had a surprise. Bobby popped in, specially to kiss Kai goodnight. He was so happy. He soon fell fast asleep. Do you like to cuddle up when you go to sleep? <laughs> Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, pickles. Come on, let's get busy. We are going to play the underground train game. The train is going to stop at the castle. Choo -choo. The bridge. Choo -choo. Well, we've got Sean and we've got Rachel, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. What's always running around? Oh, well, we'll be playing a sort of underground train game. <laughs> you see, these are all the different stops on the River Sea Fingal Underground. Oh, amazing. I love maps. I can look at them all day. You know, I sometimes snuggle up in bed with a nice map. Oh, well, now Rebecca's here. We'll do something new. Since we're going on an underground train later, let's dress Claude up as an underground train driver. <laughs> and we can squeeze on down and take a seat, Mickey John. Oh, Come nice. on. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, your back. oh my goodness. Oh, oh, mind the gap. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you like maps? Oh, absolutely. All sorts of maps. You know, last week I found a fantastic old map of Rivercy Fingal. Oh, did the city look different? Too, right. It showed how Riversy Fingal looked a long, long time ago, before my school was even built. Fancy that! Do you know, talking of a long time ago, I was going to take the children to see something I remember from a long time ago. It's called the Camera Obscura. Oh, it's incredible! You can see the whole city! Well, I know! I remember going to see it when I was a little girl and I thought it was Fascinating. The only trouble is, I'm not sure how to explain how it works to the children. It's fairly simple, really. You see, it's all to do with the way the different uh, mirrors shine onto the convex lens. Oh, stop! Stop! I don't really want to know how it works. <laughs> well, just take the children and let them see for themselves. Oh, well, looks like your underground driver is ready to take you there. Good old Claude. <laughs> oh, very smart. Oh. Mind the doors. <laughs> well, I better be going. Daddy. Oh, it's an underground map of Riversea Fingal. Thanks, Rebecca. Ah, oh, have fun at the camera obscura. <laughs> Bye then. Come on. Now remember, let them see for themselves. 
Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today. Walking my shoes through the city views. Stepping along and swinging my arms. Singing my way through the city's charms. Getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people! He's on his way to work today. La -da 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 Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Okay, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you! You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got to do? That's right, time for the tie. All dressed and ready to go. I'm really looking forward to today's lesson. All right, Mickey John. Oh, hi, Bobby. Miss Sin, have you got a mat I can borrow? I certainly have. I've got loads of them. In fact, that's exactly what I'm teaching a lesson about today. See? Loads of different maps. Look, we've got uh, road maps, map of countries, map of the world. <laughs> no, I didn't ask for a map. I asked for a mat. It's for the gymnastics display that I'm teaching to some of the classes later on. I'm sorry, Bobby. I got maps on the brain today. Here, hang on. I got just the thing in my cupboard. Will this do? Perfect. Thanks, Mickey John. I'll bring it back later. <laughs> I wonder if you're on your way to the camera obscura yet, Bex. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. What are you doing now, Daddy? Oh, goodness, the school bell. Oh, I better clear these maps away. Don't want to spoil the surprise. Mohammed? Here. Leanne? Here. Monica? Here. And Ifra. Here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mercy John. Right, I've got something exciting to show you today. In fact, something really exciting. In fact, something absolutely incredible. But uh, I've hidden it away for now. Aww. Because first, we have to get down to some hard work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach it. Teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. School day, work away. Oh, the 
secretary smiling as she does her organising. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. Well done, everyone. You've all worked really hard this morning. So now I'm going to give you that special treat I told you all about earlier. I'm going to tell you all about... <laughs> maps! Oh. Now, maps can tell you loads of things, and this is a brilliant map. This is a map of Fingal Hill. And you can see the whole city from the top of this hill, and there's the path that goes all the way down the mountain. And look at these lines here. These are called contour lines, and they show the shape of the hill. Now, isn't that fascinating? You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Not to worry, because I'm going to be talking a lot more about maps this afternoon. Now, isn't that exciting? Oh. Oh, lunchtime. Off you go. That's funny. My class don't seem very interested in my map. Oh, well, hopefully Rebecca's a bit more enthusiastic about the camera obscura. <laughs> Tower on Skewer. Oh, it's so exciting. We're in for a real treat. Look! You can see the whole of River Sea Fingal. The people, the cars. Oh, so alive and busy. Oh, look, dumplings. Do you like the camera obscura? Yeah. It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Rebecca, your dad would love it here, wouldn't he? Yeah. I'm thinking of you, Daddy. Began. I brought back your map. Eh? Oh, the mat. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry about the mix-up earlier. <laughs> How did your gym class go? Oh, um, brilliantly. Children loved it when I did a backflip. They were really interested. Oh, I wish my class were interested in what I was telling them about this morning. Oh, what was that? Maps. They're fascinating. Take this map of Fingal Hill, for example. It's incredible. Look, you can see the path marked. Right. And what are all those squiggly lines? They're called contour lines. They show you the shape of the hill. When they're close together, that means the hill is very steep. But uh, when they're a bit further apart, that means the hill is not so steep. Now, you have to admit that is incredibly interesting. Well, for you, maybe, but I don't really see it. Anyway. Thanks for the mat. I'll catch you later. Oh. What's wrong with everyone? I love maps, but nobody else seems to. Why is no one else as excited as me? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. They were using a map to play the underground game, so the children dressed Claude as an underground train driver. Granny Murray told me she was taking the children to the Camera Obscura. I began to explain how it works, but Granny Murray found me a bit complicated. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Bobby popped in and I thought she wanted to borrow a map. But I heard wrong. She didn't want a map. She wanted a mat for her gym class demonstration. At nine o'clock, the bell went, and my class came in, and I told them I had a treat in store for them. At eleven o'clock, it was treat time. I showed them my map of Fingal Hill with its amazing contour lines. But the class just looked bored. At 12 o'clock, Bobby wasn't interested in the map either. She said she couldn't see what I was talking about. How can I make my map more interesting for my class? Now remember, let them see for themselves. Hmm. Let them see for themselves. Of course, the children can't get excited about the map because they don't know what it's a picture of. So I have to show them that the map is really a picture of a real hill. It's a race against time! 
I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Right class, I hope you all had a nice lunch and are ready to hear a lot more about maps Oh, don't worry, I've got a brilliant way to make it much more interesting this time So, I've made a model of how Fingal Hill looks in real life. You can see that the hill is very steep here, but not so steep here. And look at these lines here. When the lines are very close together, that means the hill is very steep. But when they're further apart, it means it's not so steep. Now, isn't that exciting? Yeah! Hello, look, haha. Here's a little railway train. Hey! Going through the mountain, and it'll go through, and round the other side. Ah! Oh. I wonder what you're up to, Rebecca. Right, you two old hands. That's us, my angels. Let's keep ourselves safe. OK. Right, stop. Wait there. Good girl. And up this way, everyone. Both in Granny Murray's hands. I miss you, Daddy. Who's here, Rebecca? Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Oh, oh you oh. bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying, let them see for themselves, save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off. Eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hacking, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shearing, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an underground train driver because we were going on an underground train later. Mickey John dropped off Rebecca and told me how he loved maps. And when I told him we were going to the Camera Obscura, he tried to explain how they work. Oh, I didn't understand a word he said. The underground train was very exciting and very noisy. The Camera Obscura looked amazing. We saw a bird's eye view of the city reflected onto a table. It looked magic. When Mickey John came to pick up Rebecca, he said he was glad he had remembered to let his class see for themselves. It made his map lesson much more interesting. So today, everyone could see for themselves. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Molly and we've got Hope. But don't just sit there, my wee cherubs. Come on, let's get busy. What do you see, Molly? Today, we need to invent a gadget that could store some of those toys Oh, good girl. Oh, that's a nice shape. Right, let's get the toys then. Bring them all over. There you go, Ted. That's it, good girl. And maybe some smaller ones further up. Well, we've got Hope and we've got Molly, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. 
Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Room Decker with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> Mickey John! <laughs> Hello! Hello, my darling. Hello, Brenda! You doing it all yourself? Oh, looks like there's some major construction work going on here. What's happening, Granny Murray? Well, it's a new gadget we've invented, so all the toys can stay together, you see? The larger ones round the bottom and the smaller ones to the top. Ingenious. Looks like the sort of thing the pharaohs of ancient Egypt would have invented. Looks a bit like a pyramid to me. You know, it does look like a pyramid, Mickey John. But now Rebecca's here will dress Claude up as a pharaoh of ancient Egypt. Yeah, and why don't we do a sand dance up the Nile to your chairs? <laughs> oh, I dare say. <laughs> <laughs> well, we see some pharaohs at the museum, Mickey John. Oh, are you going to the museum? Yes, of course we are, silly sausage. You said you were going to write some notes for us. Oh, yes, that's right. I made several notes. Now, where did I put them? Oh. Ah. ah, notes on ancient gadgets. Oh, how exciting. Oh, no, no, no. These are for my class later. Oh, well, maybe we'll see some ancient gadgets at the museum. Oh, you must. I love gadgets. Now, is it true that the Romans built drains thousands of years ago? Oh, yes, they were very good at plumbing, the Romans. Oh, well, I must remember that the next time I flush my toilet. <laughs> yes, and I must remember to tell my class. Oh, now don't muddle all your notes up. Oh, no, I know just the place to put it. And these. Oh, well, the Greeks and the Romans and the Egyptians might have invented some great gadgets, but do you know what my old boss, Mr Lobot, used to say? Tell me. He used to say one of the best gadgets of all time is the bulldog clip. The bulldog clip? What's that? A machine for cutting a bulldog's hair? <laughs> oh, no! One of these. Now, I keep them away from little fingers, but they're very useful for clipping all my pieces of paper together. Ooh, very nifty. Yes. Well, you keep that one. I've got plenty. Oh, thank you, Granny Money. <laughs> oh, will you look at Claude? He's all pharaohed up. Oh, you look very royal, Claude. Oh, yes. A right royal pharaoh. Well done, my darlings. Well, i better be off. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Goodbye, Daddy. Have fun at the museum. <laughs> Come on, you. Now remember, one of the best gadgets of all time is the bulldog clip. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh. I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <coughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the doctor, splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speak to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, 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 put my tie on. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, I better clean the board before the children get here. Oh, 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 Silly me. <laughs> you know, gadgets really fascinate me. Me too. In fact, so much so that I'm planning a lesson about gadgets through the ages for my class. Oh, well, in that case, you must remember to tell them that the most amazing ancient gadget was a tree trunk. Oh, fascinating. I must make a note of that. In ancient Egypt, when they used to build those massive pyramids, they would move the huge blocks of stone by rolling them along on a tree trunk. Clever chaps. And this is a very clever gadget. Do you fancy a swap? Well, what have you got? Oh, look at this. Ooh! 
<laughs> That's a cool swap. Cheers, Mickey John. See you later. Bye, Raymond. <sighs> oh, what a great gadget. I must show it to Rebecca. <laughs> I wonder how you're getting on, sweetheart. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Now, when you go to a museum, it's a good idea to take a list with you so you can remember to look out for lots of things. So, what's this? A clock! A clock! So I'll stick this on and when I go to the museum, I'll look out for Clock. clocks. What about this? A mummy! Your mummy? We'll have to look out for your mummy at the museum. Oh, no. she's not that old. <laughs> it's an Egyptian mummy, that's right. So we'll stick it on here. There we are. Are you having fun, Daddy? Oh, here come my class. I'd better put you away. Good morning, everyone. Now, today we're going to talk about people who lived a long time ago, in ancient times. The Egyptians, the Greeks and the Romans. Now, these people loved gadgets, and so do I. So, I'm going to tell you about, uh... Oh, hang on. Uh... Don't forget to put your underpants in the laundry. Well, that's not right. Hang on a minute. Today I'm going to tell you about uh, one box of muesli and don't forget the sausages. Oh. Uh, oh well, 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 we'll talk about gadgets later. But first, it's time for me to get down to some hard work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. Secretary smiling as she does her organising. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps her shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want joy when I go to school in the morning. Ah, good work, everyone. Now, this afternoon I'm going to be telling you all about, uh, oh, hang on, exercises for the day, side bends and star jumps. <laughs> oh, hang on, we're going to talk about gadgets this afternoon. There's a bell, off you go. Time to prepare for this afternoon's lesson. Ha, just the job. <laughs> oh, I wonder how you're getting on, my little queen of the Nile. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Look, Daddy, Daddy, there's a mummy. A oh, mummy, just like on our list. Well done. Would you look at some of the paintings? They're thousands of years old. Your daddy would love it here, Rebecca. I'm thinking of you, daddy. Come on, let's settle down. Good stuff. All right, now it's time for the most exciting part of the day. I'm going to tell you all about people that lived in ancient times. The Egyptians, the Greeks and the Romans. And I'm going to tell you about all the exciting inventions and gadgets that they came up with. Now, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, 
Huh. Where shall I start? <laughs> oh dear. Where shall I begin? I've been planning this lesson for days and it's all over the place. Everything I've been planning's on these different pieces of paper, but it's in such a muddle I can't make sense of it. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's. The children had made a brilliant sitting gadget for the toys out of boxes. I said it looked like a pyramid, so they dressed up Claude as a pharaoh from ancient Egypt. Granny Murray reminded me that she was going to take the children to the museum and that I had promised to make her some notes of things to look out for. I couldn't find the right note, but I did find a note about ancient gadgets that I'd prepared for my class. At eight o'clock I was ready to start work when a mouse rolled into my classroom. Raymond showed me that it wasn't really a mouse, but a brilliant gadget. At nine o'clock the children were ready to work. I wanted to teach them about ancient gadgets, but I couldn't find the notes that I had made, so we got on with something else. At one o'clock, when the children came back from their lunch, everything was ready for my lesson on gadgets through the ages, but I still couldn't find my list. I've got so many pieces of paper with things written on them, but I can never seem to find the one I want. I really need to get organized. Now remember, one of the best gadgets of all time is the Bulldog Clip. One of the best gadgets of all time is the Bulldog Clip. That's just what I need, a Bulldog Clip, to sort out all my pieces of paper so I can teach the class in an organised way. But it's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it, I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it, I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong, I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right then, now that I've got my bulldog clip to hold my paper together, I can tell you about all the other gadgets. <laughs> right, the pyramids, like this. They were made from big blocks of stone. And the ancient Egyptians used blocks of wood to roll the stones to the pyramid. Look at that. Hey. <laughs> it's a great gadget, isn't it? Hey. Sorry. Right. Now, the ancient Greeks had a great gadget for pumping water, the Archimedes screw. Oh yes, now here's a more recent gadget from about a hundred years ago, the steam engine. Chuff, 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 chuff. Woo -woo. <laughs> ah. Now, mouse. Oh. oh yes, now this is a more modern gadget, but it's a lot of fun. And don't worry, it's not a real mouse. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I wonder how you're getting on at the museum, Rebecca. Now we had to look out for clocks on our list, didn't we, darlings? And you'll not see a better clock than that one. That's called the Millennium Clock. Fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. What do you see on it? Oh, it's sticky. Well, listen, we better head back, my angel. Your dad will be home before us. Mickey John. Hi, Granny Murray. Ah, come oh. away through. Rebecca, Daddy's here. Ah, hello, beautiful girl. Hello, Daddy. Oh, looks like you've had a lovely time. Yeah. Oh, we certainly did. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, my special girl. <laughs> You're good as gold. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying one of the best gadgets of all time is the bulldog clip. Save the day. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Come on, you two. Ho, ho. <laughs> Too. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was 
really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an Egyptian pharaoh because we were planning to go to the museum. The children made a gadget out of boxes for the toys that looked like a pyramid. Later on, the children and I made an I spy card for things to look out for at the museum. When we got to the museum, we had great fun looking at all the old things from ancient Egypt. But the best thing of all was the wonderful Millennium Clock. <gasps> we could have watched it for hours. When Mickey John came to collect Rebecca later, he told me that he had remembered that I told him one of the best gadgets of all time is the Bulldog Clip. And it saved the day. <laughs> Mickey John left me this for Rebecca to play with. <laughs> Do you like gadgets? Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to